Okay guys, this video we are going to talk about looping. So looping is lots of fun and it's very effective, but warning, it is not without <laughs> its troubles in just like trying to get a good loop. So um, definitely, definitely doable, but can come with problems. So let me just show you, I'm inside of a patch and here is my loop. I have two loop channels. Well, loop one correlates with this, loop two correlates with these buttons, okay? Um, now, uh, these are these channels are patch level, they are not concert level, but I've created them in every patch, so they exist everywhere you go in the template, you should see loop 1 and loop 2, um, because they've been created at the beginning, so they should copy forward. Okay, so loop back is the plugin that we're using. If you click on it, here it is, loop back, it's got record, play, play in reverse, which is really cool, by the way, you should try that with piano sound, it sounds awesome. Um, this is the clear button. This is a count, count me off, one, two, three, four button, and some other things. And, we go, and this is what we're going to be using. I'll open that back up in a second. I'll close it for now. Again, I've mapped these buttons to basically uh, map to these buttons within the plugin. Um, these are on the Akai uh, uh, MIDI board. Okay, so the first kind of loop I'm going to show you is a pads loop. So imagine I want a droning pad, but I don't want to have to sit there and hold it, and I don't want it to own my um, sustain pedal. Because let's say I've got a droning pad going, but I want to run a lead line in the middle of an instrumental. Uh, if I, I'll have to, if I got to touch my sustain pedal, then my um, drone pad's going to go uh, drop out. So instead, we can run a loop. So here's my loop. Notice uh, right now this loop is very naked. It does not have an input and it does not have an output. Nothing comes in, nothing goes out. Guys, we have to set that, okay? So if I want a droning loop pad, then I'm going to go to my pad exit. So all my pads sh output over here to the uh, to 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 my exit pad M EQ bus. That's what I want to come into my loop because I want to record what is going through the pads. Okay, my output right now uh, I'm going to leave blank. Okay, so uh, when I'm recording right now I'm just going to leave it blank. So I'm getting my pad signal. So I'm going to open up my keyboard. Sorry, I'm not record recording this while I'm on the keyboard itself, but alas. Okay. Here we are. So I got my pad coming in. You can see I'm getting a signal, but it's not going out. It's only going in right now. So all right. So I'm ready to to get my loop going. So I'm going to open up loop back, and uh, I'm going to be clicking these buttons with my mouse. You can use the Akai um, to do this. It's going to be a lot easier, obviously, than reaching down to use the computer. So first off, if I want a pad to be looped, I don't want to hear when the pad starts. I just want this continuous loop, okay? So I want to start my pad before I press record. Here, um, and, uh, yep. I think that's about all I need. Okay. Pad. Here we go. Record. So I'm not going to record it for long. I'm just going to kill it right here. Pop. Okay. Boom. It's looping. Now you see how the loop meets right there, boom, goes straight through. So I'm going to go ahead and press stop. I've recorded my loop. It's not going out anywhere right now. What I want to do is choose where it's going to go out. So if I just want to output one and two, that is my, my pad outputs, three and four are for my piano sounds, though you don't see them right now because I'm not hooked up to the interface. But um, that, that could work, but the problem there is that I have no volume control um, or effects control over that loop. Um, so as soon as it plays, it would just go bong, and I'd have no control. Rather, I'm going to go back and, and send it back out my pads exit, okay? And I'm actually now going to come up here, since I've already got my loop, I'm going to say, hey, no more input. Uh, we've already recorded, and it's going to keep that recording. I don't want to put anything else into the recording. I'm just going to send it out my pads. So here I go. I'm going to press, watch this, uh, I'm going to press play. Boom. We're looping. All right, listen to it meet here. You can barely, barely, barely even tell that it's looped. And I still have volume control. Very cool. And I actually still have all my effects controls. Yeah! Very cool. Um, so that's how we get that loop going. I'm going to press stop here. That's Briston in the background. Hey, buddy. Recording from the hospital room. Um, 
that's that one. If I wanted to do a piano loop, I would do the same thing. I'd come to bus. I'd go to piano. Out. And I would come in here. Go to loop back difference here is that I would want to turn my sync on because I want to record with the tempo if I've got a piano line, okay? So guys, this honestly, this is where it gets kind of hard. So uh, I'm going to pull up my keyboard so I can play something for you guys. Really beautiful. Um, I've got my sync on, so it's going to record to a tempo. And I'm going to ask that it count me in, okay? So I'm going to give this one shot. If I get it wrong, I'm just going to tell you guys to don't do it wrong like I do, but here we go. Oh, guys, I blew it up. But I lied. I actually am going to do it again because I want that. I forgot to send my piano. Turn my piano up. Give me a little bit of reverb. I'm going to record some reverb, okay? All right, so let's stop that. I've already cleared it. We're going to restart. I've got my one, two, three, four on. Got my sync on. Here we go. Two, three. We've recorded. We'll see if I stayed on tempo. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And I've um, got my recording. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go send it out. I'm going to go send it out. Um, in this case, I'm going to send it out one and two, but what you really should do is send it out um, your piano bus. But I'm just going to send it out, which, which would be uh, that XPN. But it's, I'm just going to do one and two right now so we can hear it nice and easy. And I'm going to turn my input off so I don't send anything else. Here I go. Press play. Oh, that's not what I want, right? I don't want it to count off. I forgot. I need to turn the click off, and I'm going to turn my sync off so it starts as soon as I press play. It does not wait to get on a beat. Here I go. One, two, three, four. Notice my pads are not there, even though you heard them when I played before, because it only recorded the piano. So guys, that's the gist of it. Um, you've got your tap tempo right here. If you wanted to, but though I would not do a tap tempo if you're going to record something, what I would actually do is come down and affect the the patch tempo right here. Set it, you know, to an even 80, whatever, whatever the song is, okay? And then record. So that's how you do it. Um, good luck. Obviously, it's a little finicky, but um, it totally works, and it's going to be great for drones, and we can figure out how to use it. This second loop would, would honestly, I think it'd be great to do if you wanted to have a lead part for an instrumental. So it's not actually looped. It's just one long lead instrumental, um, something like that. I think it'd be great to use the loop for so that you can stay focused on piano. But there you go.